All right, this is the uh, Southeast Michigan market update for housing uh, for the fourth quarter 2018 and, and what's going on into 2019 as well. So what we saw in 18 was a settling down of the market and uh, it started in, in 17, went to 18, and we're carrying that into 19 to some degree. Now it isn't a, a major change in the marketplace, um, but we saw, and actually the fourth quarter of, of 18 is where we saw the biggest shift we've seen in a number of years. Sales were actually down almost 10% in Southeast Michigan, and it was a lot of reasons for that. Uh, probably the biggest reason that's been accumulating over the last two years has been interest rates have been rising, and values have been going up. So housing affordability has been squeezed. So that's, uh, and, and also coming out of the recession, we peaked, bottomed out in 2008 and 2009. So when we came out of the recession, there was a lot of pent up demand. People weren't buying houses for almost eight years. That was released. And that release eventually has to settle down. As we said before, housing doesn't typically leave the economy. It follows. You, you get a job a raise and a job first, and then you buy a house, you buy a car. So the fact that housing was ahead of the economy, leading in appreciation rates were ahead of inflation, et cetera, for the last four or five years, meant that at some point in time, housing had to settle back down to the, to the growth rates of 2 or 3% that the economy was seeing. And, and that's really what we started to see in 2017 and 18. Uh, and one of the, the, um, the points that uh, to keep in mind is that if interest rates rise 1%, and they've done that in the last year, then demand for housing falls about 10%. Now, luckily that hasn't happened. It, it did fall in the fourth quarter about that much, but in general in 17 and 18 when interest rates were going up about 1% each, values didn't drop and demand didn't drop that much because other good things were going on with the economy. Uh, employment was up. Wages were starting finally to rise, so there were offsets to that. So in general, in 18, sales are down about 5%. Um, we expect going into 19, probably that sales will be down another uh, 1% or 5% or so. Um, again, based on the fact that we expect interest rates to rise, values are still rising, so uh, we think that affordability squeeze will continue into, into 19. Um, one of the things to keep in mind, though, is that with the slowing of the market in the fourth quarter of, of last year. And that wasn't just interest rates and it wasn't just um, housing prices, affordability. It was a little concerns from the consumer standpoint about the economy, there's talk about recession, there's things going on that is causing a little bit of, a, of an economic constriction as well. I think that had influence as well on, on housing. But going into this year, what that means is that housing inventories are up for the first time in probably four or five years, we saw housing inventories in the under 250 price point start to rise. So that was uh, interesting. And one of the, the telling signs that the market has been selling a little bit, and this is something that buyers and sellers need to keep in mind, each for their own side of the equation, is that we've noticed that the number of homes, even in the all price ranges, even the under 250 price range, which has been the hottest, the number of homes that are selling that require at least one or more price change, price reduction before they would sell, has gone up quite a bit in the last four months. So that tells us that in general, because demand has settled, number of home sales has settled down, that causes inventories to rise, which supply and demand takes effect. Um, that means that in general, the housing inventory, the prices, the general prices of homes in the market, is probably overpriced to the current demand. It doesn't mean that in any, in any given market that may be different, some markets are hotter than others, but in general, that's the, the direction of the market. So what does that mean for buyers and sellers going into 2019? It means that homes will be on the market a little bit longer. Values probably won't rise as fast. Um, it means that that one offer that you got two years ago or 18 months ago, you might have said if it wasn't quite right, you may have thrown it off and waited for the next one. Now you might want to work with that offer to see if you can make it come together. The bird in the hand is probably the, the quote, at least, at least right now, for going into the marketplace. So it doesn't mean that it's, that it's a dramatically slower market, but it is slower. Um, so um, sellers have to realize that and adjust accordingly and they adjust expectations. Buyers the same way. Buyers, there are opportunities now and there'll be more opportunities um, to, uh, to buy in terms of, of being able to adjust price maybe a little bit. 
But keep in mind, it's still a strong market. And there are those homes that are moving ready, those homes that are that got updated kitchens and baths and landscaping, et cetera, they're still gonna go really fast. We're still seeing almost 30% uh, of our transactions selling within 10 days, homes that have been marketed 10 days or less. And we're seeing about 25% of homes still selling at or above list price. So we still have an underlying strong market going into 19. Probably just not as much momentum as we had going into 18. And probably with more choices for buyers, which is a good opportunity for buyers at all price ranges. And sellers at all price ranges have to be maybe a little more realistic on the price um, and the activity. I will say this though, just one moment, uh, one uh, point of a moment in time in that in the last three or four weeks, interest rates have gone down. So we have sort of this timing issue that if you, as a buyer, if you're looking to be buying, you might want to take a look right now in the marketplace. We have this momentary warp of inventories higher, more to choose from, and rates a little bit lower. So affordability actually is taking a, a, dump, a jump to the benefit of buyers right now. So if you're on the fence considering spring market is coming, don't wait till spring. Jump in now, inventories are there, interest rates are low, chances are they're gonna rise uh, throughout the year. So there's a real opportunity right now in the marketplace to jump. So, uh, so jump in and enjoy the water, thanks.